Could you first of all introduce yourself? I'm Joe. I play bass. Uh, Brandon, play drums. Right. You're here in Amsterdam for a show tonight. Uh, you also have a new record out. Um, let's start off with, uh, with the title. It's probably asked a lot, but what does Siren Song of the Counterculture mean? Um, I think it, it's uh, it's more of like a like a calling to like the underground scene. Um, it was a way to get away from the mainstream, the nine to five, you know, kind of kind of thing. That's something we can't relate to. So it's kind of like a, a world that we can relate to is the, the punk rock community. So yeah. All right. And and the uh, and siren song is like your song or it or is it the, the whole collective of? Yeah, I don't think it's nec- it's like our song. I think it's just the whole idea of like the underground scene, you know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because the siren song is like a like a calling. It's something you know to to, to draw people to. Um, so it's a general it's a general statement. Yeah. You have quite a team behind the uh, the album, the producer Garth and uh, Annie Wallace. Um, how did this came about? Um, Garth basically was recommended to us by like some people that work for us. So and we went and met him in Canada, and he seemed like a really nice guy. So that's how it came about. All right. And how was it working with him? He, I mean, he's a famous producer. Yeah, he was great. He was laid back, and you know, um, you know, at times we uh, butted heads where where he, you know he wanted to do a little different things and but he was really like open to our ideas and for the most part it worked out great and i think every band one is uh wants his uh cd mixed by any wallace why did he chose to work with rise against um i don't he lost a bet yeah. <laughs> we forced him at gunpoint no um i think uh i'm not sure why he must have liked the record i mean we had a couple different people we wanted to mix it and mm-hmm. Yeah, the fact that he agreed to mix our record was pretty amazing because it's Andy Wallace, you know. But you just called him up, or no? Uh, the, the the president of Gavin Polly is really close with him, and uh, she she put a word in for us, and he listened to uh, the unmixed version of our record, and he really liked it, so he agreed to do it. All right. Yeah. Are you guys happy with the result? Yeah. Ahead, Sounds right. good. Yeah, I like it. What's the the biggest difference between this one and your last album? I mean, I just think the whole the sound overall is a lot more f- full, fuller. Um, yeah, it's definitely just a beefier record. All right. And and uh, can you tell something about the lyrical content of the album? Um, I don't write the lyrics. Tim writes the lyrics, but I know a lot of the songs touch on like some political stuff because of the like the political climate, you know, with George Bush and everything. At the time, yeah. we did the record, so but Tim writes most of the lyrics. And but, but do you have something uh, to say about the lyrics, or you just? Well, is it <clears throat> Tim writes from a personal perspective, so he kind of writes whatever he is going through his mind on a day-to-day basis, because he. He keeps a journal of all his writings, so he writes throughout the year, and uh, um, so it, it's it, when we write songs, he kind of picks lyrics in his book that would fit the mood of the song. So it, it's it's hard to say we don't like, you know, pinpoint any anything as far as lyrics go. It's, it's all over the place. That's why I like to say we're more of like a a social band and a political band, you know, because I think it's more like socially aware, you know.